Hey guys, good afternoon. Today I'm going to uh, do a video on why use essential oils, because that's a big question that many people ask. You know, essential oils have been around for decades, years, um, centuries, they've been around for a long time, but uh, essential oils seem to become more and more popular lately with uh, them being sold, you know, with business, with different um, grocery stores, dollar stores, and uh, and then of course you have like doTERRA and other that also sell it. Um, so I'm gonna go into why using essential oils and why you need to, you know, be clear about what essential oils are best to be purchased and used. So stay with me and um, I hope to answer any questions you may have on why using essential oils. And if you have any questions, please get with me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So let's begin. Essential oils have exploded in popularity over the last decade. What started out as something used by, by that one friend who was into natural remedies has turned into the ex expectation of spotting those cute tiny little bottles lined up on many's friend shelves or counters. It seems as if everybody has jumped on the essential oil bandwagon these days. From your sister who wins, who whips them out of her purse, for every issue to your friend running an essential oil business to department stores, displays, even pharmacies. Everyone's telling you that you should use essential oils, but why? Sure, they smell great, but that's so, but, uh, but what's so amazing about these liquid inside these little brown bottles? And more importantly, why do you need them in your life? By the end of this class, you will know the whys. Why essential oils work, why they are so effective, why you should replace products you've used for years with more natural ones, why blends are so powerful, why both quality and sustainability matter, and more. Welcome to My Essential Oils, A Journey into Natural Wellness. Do you love filling your home with beautiful aromas of citrus, lavender, mint, and our spices? If you, like, if you are like most people, you make use of air fresheners, spray deodorizers, plug-ins, scented candles, and other odor masking products. And you might be under the impression that essential oils are just fancier, smaller, more expensive versions of the commercial scents you've used in the past. But essential oils are so much more. Their aromas are just icing on the cake. Essential oils provide many aromatic health benefits such as immune, digestive, and respiratory system support. They also do wonders for uplifting moods and managing emotions. Whereas other types of air fresheners can certainly make the environment smell lovely. They don't provide additional benefits for the body, mind, and soul the way essential oils do. In fact, many of those other products contain synthetic chemicals that can be toxic to you and your family. When you use essential oils, even for something as simple as neutralizing an unpleasant odor, you are benefiting your health in countless ways. Keep that in mind as we talk about some of the many ways to use essential oils. Let's take a trip down memory lane. What are a few of your favorite aromas from childhood? Maybe you thought of basil and oregano spices wafting from a, from a pot of uh, spaghetti sauce simmering on the stove. Perhaps it was your grandmother's favorite jasmine perfume or the roses in her garden. Or maybe what came to mind was the smell of fresh popcorn at the movies or that old smell, old book smell in the back stacks of the children's library where you spent your Saturday afternoons. Aromas are powerful. Just catching a whiff of a fa familiar scent can transport you back in time and call up a memory you haven't thought of in years. An aroma also has the power to calm you down, set you on edge, or instantly improve your mood. But why? Why is the scent of a rose that makes us smile or causes tears to come to our eyes? Why isn't it the red, pink, or yellow hue we see in the silky petals we touch? What's so special about the sense of smell? And why is it so powerful? The answer lies in the anatomy. Let's take things down to a molecular, molecular level. Essential oils are made up of many, many components. What we perceive as an aroma is actually many tiny molecules. We can't see these molecules, but we can smell them. These molecules get carried through receptors to your olfactory nerve, which sends a message to the brain. 
The unique thing about this is the sense of smell is the only one of our senses that sends messages directly to the brain. Messages from all other senses, sight, taste, touch, and hearing, make others stop first along the way. Because the sense of smell is hardwired directly to the brain, this sense is incredibly powerful. And this is why certain aromas can bring up such strong memories and emotions. Given this unique connection, it's probably not surprising that one of the most effective benefits of aromatic use of essential oils has to do with their ability to enhance mood, emotionally, various essential oils can. Emotionally, various essential oils can. Uplift mood, calm the body and mind, evoke feeling of tranquility and balance, promote a sense of alertness and focus, reduce feeling of tension, soothe and calm restless feelings, help reduce stress, promote relaxation and restful sleep environment, promote feelings of confidence and self-worth. If it's emotions you're aiming to support, aromatic use is your best bet. What is the body's largest organ? You might be surprised to hear that it's the skin. Often we don't think of skin as an organ the way we do heart, lungs, or liver, but it is. Our skin protects all of our other organs from heat and cold, infections, and other dangers. Without skin, we wouldn't be able to regulate our body's heat, experience a sense of touch, or keep the rest of our organs, fluids, and cells where they're supposed to be. It sure is one amazing organ. So why use essential oils topically? It's an application that works and benefits your body in a way that are much more than skin deep. Essential oils are made of components so small that they can permeate the skin within 20 to 30 seconds. Once in your body, these components will move around via the circulatory system, and within half an hour, they will reach every cell of your body. Talk about an effective delivery system. Even though the magic of essential oils doesn't stop at the skin membrane, benefits from these oils, whoops, I hate it when I do that, sorry. The skin benefits from these oils become uh, before they even uh, penetrate the surface. Topical use of essential oils and or oil products can cleanse and purify the skin, soothe and calm the skin, promote healthy looking skin, promote skin clarity, reduce the appearance of spots and discoloration, promote a clear complexion and reduce the appearance of blemishes, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, provide a cooling sensation for the skin, rejuvenate the skin, help the skin hydrate and moisturize and be moisturized, keep the skin clean while recovering from distress and help the scalp looking clean and healthy. As we talk about soon, many of the beauty and personal products we use every day contain toxins and synthetic chemicals. If you're going to apply oils, creams, lotions, soaps, shampoos, and more to your body's largest organ several times a day, it's imperative that we that what you're putting on you and what's sleeping in is fresh, safe, and natural. Probably the most controversial topic in essential oil circle is that of the internal use. Some people caution against using oils internally, but as long as you educate yourself and take some precautions, many oils are safe and beneficial to use this way. The most common way to use essential oils internally is by putting one or two drops in your water, juice, coffee, tea, or smoothie. Essential oils enhance the flavor of many drinks and offer wellness benefits at the same time. Other ways to use essential oils internally include cooking with oils, placing a drop under your tongue, or putting a few drops in a veggie capsule and swallowing. For many issues, aromatic or topical applications can do the trick just great. However, internal use of essential oils has its own benefits for various systems and issues. This method is especially effective for cleansing the body and its system, promoting health self, healthy cell functions, supporting gastrointestinal health, maintaining healthy immune function, maintaining healthy metabolism, alleviating occasional feelings of stomach discomfort, gas, and bloating, promoting health cardiovascular system function, helping calm the nervous system. Even if you've never purposely placed drops of essential oil in your water or food, you most likely have used them internally without realizing it. Citrus essential oils are found in the rinds of their fruits. When you eat an orange or put a lemon in your water, you are probably ingesting traces amounts of essential oils. 
Practicing internal use of oils is simply getting a larger, more concentrated dose. Once the oil is in the body, its components are transported throughout the body, just as when it's used aromatically or topically. The difference is that the oil's components get into the bloodstream via the gastrointestinal tract rather than the respiratory system. Essential oils are processed, metabolized, and excreted just as other things are we eat and drink. You know why you may want to use essential oils internally, but not, or but what? You now know why you want to use essential oils internally, but what do you need to know to do it safely? Here are a few safety precautions explained. Only use high quality third party tested essential oils. If your bottle says for aromatic use only, that's a clue that you shouldn't take that oil internally. Many oils out there are not food grade oils. They are lower quality oils meant to be used as air fresheners. You want to make sure uh, any oil you ingest is free of contaminants, pesticides, and fillers. More on that later. Many oils are approved by the FDA as grass, generally recognized as safe to consume. However, not all essential oils are suitable for internal use, even if they are of the highest quality. Check your bottle if it, if it has a nutritional and supplement facts on it the oils may be used internally. If not, stick to the aromatic or topical use. Be mindful and extra cautious of hot oils. These oils that are most likely to cause irritation to the skin or mucous membranes, such as cinnamon, cassia, clove, oregano, and thyme. When ingesting these or other hot oils, heavily dilute with appropriate carry oil and or use a veggie cap to protect your mouth, throat, or stomach lining from irritation. Practice proper dosage. This is beyond the scope of the class as it varies depending on age, weight, and other personal issues. So talk with an aromatherapist or myself about how many drops to use and how often. There will be a link to the bottom of this video for a great ebook that I am including on taking essential oils internally. This is what doTERRA's safe to ingest oil bottles look like. If they have the essential oil supplement on them, they are safe to ingest. As you can see, um, I believe you can see this. So right here, essential oil supplement. That is what doTERRA's essential oil bottles state if they are safe to ingest. If they don't say that, do not ingest them. What is a toxic load and why should you strive to reduce it? It's no secret that in our modern world, we are surrounded by chemicals, synthetics, and toxins. Maybe being exposed to one or, or two won't do noticeable damage, but when you add up all of your daily exposure, you end up with a toxic load that's quite heavy to bear. Let's talk, take a look at some of the things that, you, that can contribute to your toxic load. Exposure to air and water pollution, Fragrances and soaps that contain chemicals known to cause allergies, irritants, migraines, and organ damage. Parabens found in beauty products that disrupt, that disrupt hormone function and have been linked to some studies to, to cell division and breast cancer. Triclosan found in dishwashing detergents that can cause irritation to the skin, eyes, and lungs. Shampoos and conditioners that contain parabens triclosan, synthetic fragrances and dyes, and PEG, which comes from petroleum. Pesticide residue left on your produce, lotions, room sprays, and air fresheners that smell great but contain harmful synthetic chemicals, cleansing product, cleaning products that get rid of germs but leave behind um, phthalates that may cause reproductive and organ damage. Fortunately, there are natural alternative alternatives to almost all of these toxic products. Sorry, I keep getting tongue-tied. Unless you live in a bubble, you can't avoid all sources of, of synthetic chemicals, toxins, and free radicals, but there are many changes you can make to help reduce your toxic load. Concentrating on changing the things you can control instead of worrying about those that you can't is a positive first step toward reducing your toxic load. Need another reason to cut down on your toxic load? Look no further than the great outdoors. The same chemicals and toxins that harm us humans do major damage to our climate, environment, and wildlife. 
Many commercial insect repellents and aerosol sprays use chemicals that are known to damage the environment. These chemicals break down very slowly and can be found in soil and water sources. Some have been found to be toxic to wildlife as well. Seeking out natural alternatives is not only good for your own body, but this practice can also have a positive impact on the environment. It's obvious with something like bug spray, why natural alternatives like essential oils, ugh. why, sorry about that. Some have been found, okay. It's obvious what, with something like bug spray, why natural alternatives like essential oils make sense, but why focus only on natural solutions for products we use inside? Here are just a couple examples of how toxic products, even those based or used inside your home can harm the environment. Many body products and face washes contain exfoli exfoliating or microbeads. These microbeads are so small that they can't be filtered, which means that they can easily get from your shower into the water system and end up being swallowed by fish or wild other wildlife. Many essential oil products are gentler on your skin and do not contain these unfiltered environmental dangers. Or how about those lovely fresh smelling dryer sheets? Many are filled with synthetic chemicals that are vented right outside during every dryer cycle. Using dryer balls with essential oils drops on them can save you money and help you take good care of this world. It's always a good idea to be good towards good stewards of God's creation. This is one way we can all do our part. There are so many amazing essential oils out there. It seems like creation has an oil for everything. So if there's already an oil for every issue, then why do essential oil companies create all these custom blends with fancy names? It is just so that they have something else to sell you. If you already have a bottle of lavender essential oil, do you really need something called Serenity Blend as well? Why so many blends? Synergy is the concept that when you combine two or more oils, the results will be even more effective than you would expect the sum, the sum of each single oil to be. What we might call a one plus one is greater than two type of phenomenon. Sometimes synergy manifests itself when two oils with the same properties combine to enhance each other and their overall effects. For example, when you combine the invigorating aroma of peppermint with the uplifting scent of wild orange or lemon, the result is one of the most effective blends for helping you wake up or staying alert. Other items, the power of, oh other items, the power of synergy comes into play through a blends delivery system such as the case of the Yarrow Palm essential oil blend. Yarrow, palm, yarrow is an amazing essential oil, but the structure of its component makes it difficult to attach to receptors in the body's cells effectively without the help of fatty acids found in the pomegranate oil. Separately, these oils are satisfactory. Combined, they create a powerhouse. As you can see, blends are created for the, for the user's benefit. Getting back to the lavender example we began with, yes, that one oil might be all that somebody needs to notice a positive difference in his or her stress or sleep issues, but somebody else could need the extra oomph synergy can provide by combining lavender with Roman chamomile, cedarwood, hoe wood, lang lang, marjoram, vetiver, and Hawaiian sandalwood, which is found in Serenity. You may have heard that essential oils are versatile. This means that some oils have many diverse uses, but why is versatility something to get excited about? If you're like most people, you'll probably have a bathroom or hallway cabinet that's chock full of various products. Some of the cleaning, a couple for head tension and discomfort, a few for seasonal environmental threats, some for digestive issues. And what about skincare products? There's ones for bug bites, another one for cuts and scrapes, and yet another for irritation. The list is endless. What if you could simplify wellness and clear out all that clutter? What if you could carry one or two tiny bottles in your purse or diaper bag instead of feeling like you've left the house with everything except the kitchen sink? This is the beauty of essential oil versatility. Let's take the basics trio of lemon, lavender, and peppermint just as an example so you can see what you can do with these three small bottles. Lemon uses. 
You can diffuse to create an uplifting environment and positive mood. Add to a spray bottle of warm of water to clean tables, countertops, and other surfaces. Add a few drops to olive oil to clean, protect, and shine wood finishes. Use a cloth soaked in lemon essential oil to preserve and protect your leather. Apply to silver and other metals as a remedy for early stages of tarnish. Put a few drops on a rag to help remove stubborn, sticky residues from surfaces. Wash hands with lemon essential oil to remove grease after changing the oil in the car. Take eternally to assist with seasonal respiratory discomfort and to enhance the flavor of desserts and main dishes. Lavender uses. Diffuse three or four drops to reduce stress and anxious feelings. Add a few drops to pillows, beddings, or bottoms of feet at bedtime. Keep a bottle of lavender on hand to soothe occasional skin irritations. Freshen your linen closet, mattress, car, or the air by combining a few drops with water in a spray bottle. Add to a bath water to soak away stress or apply to temples and back of neck. Apply to the back of the neck and temples to reduce head tension. Put a couple drops to your shampoo to keep the scalp and hair looking clean and healthy and take internally for relaxing, peaceful sleep or to, or to reduce anxious feelings. Peppermint. Put a drop of peppermint with lemon in water for a healthy, refreshing mouth rinse. Take one to two drops in a veggie capsule to alleviate occasional stomach upset. Add a drop to your favorite smoothie recipe for a refreshing twist. Spritz around windows and doors to help repel bugs. Diffuse during study time to enhance focus. Place one drop in the palm of the hand with one drop lemon and one drop frankincense and inhale for a midday pick-me-up. Apply topically to relieve feelings of tension. Diffuse when feeling fatigued or low in, on energy. Rub on temples after you wake up for a morning energy boost. Place one drop in your mouth to help freshen your breath. Add to cold water compress or foot bath to cool off when overheated. Inhale for a non-stimulant invigorating pick-me-up on long drives. And add to shampoo or conditioner for a stimulating hair massage. As you can see, many essential oils have a plethora of uses. The versatility can save you shelf space and money. After all, it's much easier and more convenient to use one product for a half a dozen uses than it is to keep six different products on hand for those same uses. You don't have to know everything about essential oils to start using them, not even close. Oils are easy to use, and there are many resources that can point you in the right direction to help you get started. Just ask me. Even though you don't have to be an expert, it can be helpful to learn a bit about the common properties found in categories of essential oils. You don't have to know every detail about each oil, but having a general idea of the properties and benefits of the oil categories can help you know where to start when addressing an issue or what to use an oil for. Here are some of the basic categories, which oils belong to which, and some of their main properties and benefits. Citrus, come from the rind of fruits. Include bergamot, grapefruit, lemon, thyme, tangerine, and wild orange essential oils. Citrus oils are cleansing and purifying, great for the immune system and help uplift the mood. Floral, come from the floral part of the plant. Includes clary sage, geranium, helichrysum, lavender, Roman chamomile, blue tansy, and lang lang essential oils. Flora oils are soothing to the mind, body, and emotions, perfect for stress relief. They are also amazing for improving the appearance of the skin. Wood. This comes from the wood, leaves, branches, or resin of the trees. Includes arborivitae, cedarwood, cypress, Douglas fir, eucalyptus, frankincense, melaleuca, or tea tree, myrrh, pedigrain, sandalwood, and Siberian fir essential oils. Wood oils are emotionally grounding and calming. Like florals, they are great for the skin. Wood oils often are good for repelling insects. Spices. These come from the roots, stems, seeds, fruits, or bark of the plant. This includes black pepper, cardamom, cassia, cinnamon bark, clove, coriander, cumin, dill, fennel, ginger, and juniper berry essential oils. Spice oils enhance the flavor of many foods. Many support the digestive system, which is a welcome added bonus if using them in the kitchen. They are also invigorating 
to the mood. One of my favorite spices is actually ginger, which um, I, I love drinking ginger or having our ginger drops because that also does help the digestive system as well. So that's a great one to have. Herbs come from the leafy green parts of the plant. Includes basil, cilantro, lemongrass, marjoram, melissa, oregano, patchouli, peppermint, rosemary, spearmint, and thyme essential oils. Herb oils are also great to cook with and provide digestive support as well. They are also excellent for the immune system. The grocery store shelves are full of the greening of the cleaning products you've used for years. The ones your parents and grandparents use are there too, and they work great. So why bother purchasing new ingredients, measuring them, mixing them, and storing them when you can just grab something pre-made off the shelf? Why go to the effort of green, green, green cleaning? We already discussed many of the toxins found in various cleaners when we focused on reducing toxic load. Many commercial cleaners are bad for people, animals, and the environment. Use only in well-ventilated areas. Open windows during use. Sounds like this can't be good for you, and it's not. There are many ways to clean while using harmless ingredients like vinegar, baking soda, Castile soap, and or water, and it can be easy too. How easy? A simple solution of vinegar and water can be all you need to create a natural, safe, effective cleaning solution. Then just add a favorite cleansing essential oil and you can clean without fear of exposing your family to toxic chemicals. Some of the best oils to clean with include melaleuca or tea tree, peppermint, lemon, and other citruses, oregano, and eucalyptus, although many others offer cleansing properties and other appealing aromas. An all-purpose recipe would be 30 drops of essential oil that have cleansing purifying properties, vinegar, and water, and place the essential oils in an eight ounce spray, add one to two teaspoons of vinegar, top it with water, shake and spray. Since essential oils are natural, there aren't any safety precautions to worry about, right? Unfortunately, this is incorrect line of thinking, and it has led to improper use of oils, and yes, negative reactions and accidents. Just because something is natural doesn't mean it's safe for all situations. Essential oils are so powerful and concentrated that you should always practice safe first, safe use. If you have a negative reaction, this could lead to you and those around you. No longer wanting to use oils, missing out on all the benefits would be a shame. Here are a few of the basics along, the along with reasonings behind each safety tip. Dilution. To dilute an essential oil, simply mix a couple drops of oil with teaspoon to a tablespoon of a carrier oil. A carrier oil is a nut or vegetable based oil that helps dilute the essential oil. This is especially important for those with sensitive skin as well as children and elderly people. Reactions to some undiluted essential oils include skin irritations, redness, rashes, and itchiness. Why dilution? Essential oils are very powerful. Diluting oils does not decrease the effectiveness, but it does reduce the risk of skin reacting to the oil. Carry oils have their own benefits for the skin, Incorporating them into your essential oil usage ensures that you will get these additional benefits as well. Essential oils are very volatile, which means they evaporate quickly. Carrier oils help slow down the process to the essential oils so that the essential oils have more time to permeate the skin. Most carrier oils are less expensive than essential oils, therefore diluting your oils helps you save money. Phototoxicity. Beyond dilution, there is one more skin safety rule you should always follow regarding essential oils. Some oils, mainly citruses, can cause a reaction when applied to the skin and then exposed to UV rays, including the sun or tanning beds. This reaction can be mild, moderate, or even severe and include redness or rashes on the skin, sunburn, blistering, or even scarring. Diluting phototoxic oils can greatly reduce the risk of phototoxic reaction, but it doesn't negate it completely. So it's best to avoid exposing skin to sunlight for at least 12 hours, some aromatherapists recommend longer, after applying a phototoxic oil. Why does phototoxicity occur? Components called furocumarins are to blame. 
Because of this chemical structure of these ferrocumarins, their ability to affect skin cell DNA, and their free radicals that are left behind due to the reaction, use of oils that contain these components leaves the skin more vulnerable to the sun's rays. Oils with phototoxic concerns, bergamot, lime, lemon, grapefruit, and cumin. Um, this is not an exclusive list. Don't forget that phototoxic concerns also apply to any blends that use these oils. When in doubt, check your bottle's label for UV ratings or warnings. If you are pregnant, nursing, or taking medication, you should also check with a doctor or aromatherapist to which essential oils are contra contradicted. A diffuser is one of the best tools you can invest in an arom aromatic use of essential oils. Diffusers come in many shapes and sizes. Some are very simple and others have countless bells and whistles. Ultrasonic diffusers are popular because they are cost effective and easy to use. You simply fill them with water and add a few drops of oil. This results in a fine mist that gets spread into the air. So why diffuse? It's an easy and effective way Many people receive the aromatic benefits of essential oils. Because the vapor moves throughout the room, your family, pets, coworkers, and anybody sharing living space with you can benefit. Diffusing, diffuse mood uplifting oils when tension is high around the workplace, immune boosting oils at home during those germy winter months, and purifying oils when everyone wants to plug their noses due to an unpleasant stench. Diffusion also allows you to be exposed to the oil components for a long period of time. Diffuse while sleeping or busy. Some diffuse, diffusers run continuously and others can be set to run intermittently. Whichever your preference, you can find a diffuser that you can start with a click of a button and then not have to adjust for hours. One of the worst products out there, chemical-wise, is air fresheners. It doesn't matter if they come in the form of sprays, candles, wall plug-ins, or scented warmers. Many of these contain synthetic fragrances and toxic chemicals. Many of these products can cause headaches, sinus issues, and irritation. But we all want our homes and offices to smell fresh and clean, right? So what are we to do? Use a diffuser. Swapping these toxic products out for a good diffuser and some high quality essential oils can give you the aromas you desire without the chemicals you'd rather avoid. One of the most compelling answers to the question, why use essential oils, is simple. They work. Essential oil has become more mainstream. Scientists have begun to devote more research time towards studying the, the efficiency of essential oils. Here are just a few of the many exciting studies that provide efficiency of essential oils. When skin cells were exposed to oregano essential oil, cell proliferation, a sign of a problem with immune function, was reduced in every single marker examined. This, le this, lend this lends support to the claim that oregano can help maintain a healthy immune system. This was sourced doTERRA oregano oil study, um, and you can find that on doTERRA's website. The benefits of using a specific combination of essential oil and massage versus fractionary carry oil alone was studied. A larger decrease in measure, such as heart rate, blood pressure, and stress, was found for those in which essential oils were used. This study was published in the Journal of Integrative Medicine and Therapy. Clove essential oil has long been used for antioxidant properties as well as warming and energizing massage oil. A study in pharmaceutical biology showed that clove oil affected proteins in the body that play a role in a healthy inflammatory responses in tissues. People have known, been known for centuries that essential oils work. However, due to the lack of scientific studies associated with oil use, not much has been known about how and why they work. Due to the recent and increasing interest in research studies, this is changing. Now we can see proof in test tubes and reports by respected researchers of the many scientific and biological reasons why essential oils are so effective. Sourcing essential oils is a sustainable way, is an important part of the process if we are to have these precious gifts of the earth for future and generations to use. 
Essential oils are, stream are steam distilled from plant parts or cold pressed from the fruit rinds, but not all parts of the plants are used. It's not a matter of picking a handful of flowers and obtaining a bottle of oil. It takes a lot of plant material to yield a small amount of essential oil. For example, a 15 mill milliliter bottle of lemon essential oil requires 50 lemons. A 15 milliliter bottle of lavender essential oil requires three pounds of plant material. And a five milliliter bottle of rose requires more than 242,000 rose petals. That's why rose is so expensive. <laughs> the issue of sustainability is becoming more and more important as essential oil use becomes more popular. It's great that more people are turning to natural solutions for their health and wellness needs, but as these resources are more heavily drawn upon, it's becoming vital to know that the company you purchase your oils from takes measures to make sure they are in harvesting plants in a sustainable way. It's disheartening to hear that some companies disregard regulations aimed at ensuring sustainable investing, harvesting. In order to do your part to make sure these amazing plants do not become extinct, consider only purchasing oils through companies like ours, doTERRA, that are committed to sustainable practices. Essential oils might seem like a, like a new craze. After all, most Americans hadn't heard of them until recent years. You might be hesitant to get involved with oils when you, are, when you consider that last diet, exercise, or supplement program you tried that disappeared after a while because it didn't work. The good news is that essential oils are definitely not a fad. Why? Just because oils are newish to Americans doesn't mean that they are new to the world. In fact, natural remedies, including essential oils, have been used for centuries in other cultures. A whopping 80% of the world's population uses herbal remedies and solutions, including essential oils. The Egyptians used plant extracts all the way back to 3500 BC for health, food, religious, and beauty purposes. Oils were considered so voluble, valuable that they were treasured possessions for trade and even stolen from tombs. This, the wise men brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh to baby Jesus. Spikenard, cassia, cypress, cedarwood, and sandalwood oils are also found in the Bible. Plant materials have always played a huge part in health and wellness practices in places like China and India. People were able to prevent the spread of plagues through the use of cleansing essential, cleansing essential oils. It's even thought that some were able to loot houses of plague victims without getting sick by applying essential oils to their bodies. French physician Jean Valnet used essential oils on soldiers during World War II to treat wounds and infections. As more and more scientists and health care professionals accept so-called alternative medicine, more and more are finally embracing the natural solutions that have been used since ancient times. The essential oil fad isn't going away anytime soon. Many people think of the body as several individual systems that just happen to be housed together. But when you take a more holistic approach to the human body, you will soon see that it's all connected from the tiniest cell to the most complicated system. Reflexology takes advantage of the body's connectiveness on the view that locations on the hands and feet, even the ear, correspond to other parts of the body, its organs and systems. According to this idea, applying pressure, massage, and or essential oils to these reflex points can have a positive effect on emotions, stress, pain, and even things like headaches and sinus pain. Reflexology can also help with blood circulation and flushing out toxins from the body. Much like essential oil use, reflexology is a technique that has been practiced for centuries, going back to the ancient Egyptians. Nowadays, many massage therapists make use of it during their sessions. The bottoms of the feet are a popular area of the body for topical applications. This is due to the fact that the largest pores are found in this location. To add reflexology to the mix, just check out the chart and target the areas of the foot, hand, or ear that correspond to the system you are concerned about. And I have a copy of the reflexology charts for both the feet and the hands, and I'm happy to send it to you if you would like. Just shoot me an email. Essential oils everywhere. 
What used to be specialty item can now be found in department stores, health food stores, and even pharmacies. And it seems like everybody is hosting an oil class these days, from your neighbor to your church group to the library. You might even see ads for oils pop up on your Facebook page or search engine. Since oils are so easy to purchase these days, why use doTERRA's brand instead of one of those many others out there? Why look for certain assurances of quality? The truth is that not all essential oils are created equally. Many factors go into the quality of the oil. Here are some of the major things to look for when choosing an essential oil brand. Purity. An oil on the health food store shelf says pure essential oil. Why? Why can, you why can you not necessarily trust this claim? The truth is that no governing body sets standards for essential oils. That means that despite what the label says, you have no idea what is in the bottle of, of oil you take off the shelf at the store. It may be a supplement with less expensive carrier oil, or it could even be full of toxins and fillers. You want to make sure that the oils you purchase come from a company that promises they are organic and pure and do not contain fillers, pesticides, or contaminants. Sourcing. The climate, soil, conditions, and altitude at which a plant is grown makes a huge difference in the quality and power of essential oils sourced from it. Plants are grown and harvested in their indigenous regions, naturally yield higher quality oils than those that are not. Lavender oil sourced from lavender plants in the mountains of France or Bulgaria is going to be vastly different from sourced from plants replanted off the highway on, in the US. It is important to know where your oils come from. Testing. Many companies test their oils in-house. This means that the person testing and reporting on quality is part of the company selling the oils. Third-party testing is an important part of quality assurance because when the scientists behind the testing are independent from the company, you know you are receiving accurate, non-biased information. Transparency. Why is transparency important? It's the only way you can be sure the oils you use pass the quality checks we've discussed above. How do you know your oils are sourced responsibly and from plants native to their growing areas? How can you be sure that your oils pass third-party testing for purity and not contain fillers? You want to look for a company that practices transparency. Information should be available online about the company's sourcing practices and quality promises, and the test results should be made available publicly so you can check for yourself and the components that they are expected to be found in in the oil and um, in the oil are present. Oh, did you enjoy learning about the ways of essential oil? We've just touched the surfaces of everything oils can do for you. I have many other classes available about every topic imaginable. I'll be adding more and more to my Facebook page, or my Facebook, my website, and my um, YouTube page. So continue to look and, and view these. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You can ask me on my website, or you can ask me through my Facebook, um, sorry, getting tongue-tied again. You can uh, you can visit my website, which is essentialoilswithmelissa.com, or you can send me a message at any time at questions at essentialoilswithmelissa.com. I am here to help you. I want to answer any questions for you. I appreciate you um, viewing this video, and I am here for you at any time, so just let me know. And I will talk to you guys later and check out my next video. Have a great afternoon.